Labour's controlled the, the political machine in East London since the Second World War. This split between the Town Hamlets first and Labour has put everything into chaos. Is Tower Hamlet a rotten borough or not? I think that question will be answered tomorrow, the judgment day on the petition. Did you ever have a doubt that you were going to win? Uh, no, I have no doubt. And I will now act as a mayor until the election takes place. Some of the things that he's accused of doing, when he was doing it as a Labour Party member, it was acceptable. I think there was a collusion to make Tower Hamlet's look, or the administration, look um, the way he ended up looking. All of this is about internal Labour Party politics. The judge was very concerned that Look for Rahman had been stitched up by the Labour Party. The Labour Party aren't racist, my party isn't racist. There are racists out there, and there are racist political groups out there, but you can see those. When you have a judge in an electoral court who in a judgment uses the phrase race card, you have somebody who has taken out the gutter phraseology of the sun and the news of the world and use it in a judgment. People in town are smart, they are astute. They did not vote because they were bribed, coerced or intimidated. Brothers and sisters, it's great to be here and taking this fight to the extremists, because that's what they are. Even the judge said that there was not a shred of evidence to, to link him with Islamic extremism, so where has that come from? Rabina is absolutely of the mould of Lutfer Rahman. No one who is in Lutfer Rahman's cabinet has any right to the politics of the sisterhood, frankly. Um, <laughs> she came to this borough as a bride. Some, so many people involved in politics in Tower Hamilton in particular seem to be serving themselves. Maybe that every single local politics has got the same corruption, I don't know. What I know is that in the long run the truth will out.